Lisa G is here with the Howard 100 News. Do you know Lisa G has her own animated character? Yeah, I know. I saw that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that is about. Yeah, I've seen that on her card and her website. Yeah, Lisa has her own animated character. Don't you think that's a little I weird? Have a what do you mean? Let's see. I use well, it. Uh, it's a character of me on my professional stationery. <laughs> What's so funny? It is kind of funny. You're the only one who can have a website? It's uh, very attractive. No. I just, it's just funny that you have an animated character. It's not animated. There are caricatures of me yeah. that I've yeah. used on different things. I mean, it's, it's, it's sweet. What can I tell you? I don't, it, know. It, I don't know anybody else who has this. <laughs> so she's... Who, how many people do you know have an animated... It's not animated. One, there are caricatures of me, two of which I've used on business cards and professional stationery. Mm-hmm. Another but one why do you on have invitation. A, why do you have a picture of yourself on your business card and, and professional stationery? I mean, it's kind of... It's a caricature. It's like some people have their name. So I have a caricature. It's kind of like, you know who she looks like in it? Um, you ever see the Archie comics? Yeah. The, the blonde? Not yeah. Betty or Veronica? Veronica. Veronica. Right. She's like right. Veronica. She's like in a Not sexy... Josie of Josie and the Pussycat. <laughs> yeah, you're kind of like Josie and Josie the Pussycat. Let me see that, Artie. I mean, look at it. Yeah, I mean... Well, do you like it or not? What do you I say? I mean, it's sexy as hell. It's hot. It looks I mean, great. You're like, you know, you got a belly shirt on. But it seems a little pompous. Why? No. And you don't even dress like that. I mean, if you dress like that, I'd say I yeah. will at my cookie you, party. Well, you're kind of <laughs> like uh, you're kind of like um, you're, you're like Betty and Veronica. In this. Yeah. Wow. I've had my website for eight years now. It and I run my own business. Yeah, I don't know anybody who has like a, a caricature either. of themselves. Except her. Oh, a lot of people. I mean, it's just... There's uh, not look, enough paper to draw you, Artie. Look, all of us are... Well, there's no need to wow. attack my way, but... <laughs> <laughs> I think all of us, to a certain extent, are self, you know, self-involved. Robin. Because of, but that's really someone who's self-involved. That is self-involved. That is. Thank you. That is. Uh, Robin, even you do not have a... Caricature. No, of no I have a big picture, no caricature. Yeah, right. <laughs> Lisa, I think, think it's great. You're a u unique individual and you know how to market yourself. Don't you Thank think, you. Robin? But it's not working. <laughs> Why? Why isn't it working? It's working with me. I mean, you're not. I, I, mean, I just brought a client to Howard who will be advertising on Monday. Okay. All right. Don't Isn't you nice? think, Robin, like we would goof on you if you had a caricature of yourself oh, on your business you would. card? You would, of course. Yeah. Why would we goof on you? Because it's pompous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that really describes me. It doesn't describe you, but I, I mean, I'm not pompous, but I had that big picture. Big cartoon picture of yourself. <laughs> there are a lot of them on my website. All not right. just one. Okay. Did you get my Christmas card, by the way? I did not. You didn't not get? yet. I'm sure it's coming. It's the one well, with a picture of her on it. Yeah. <laughs> it's with me and my cat. That's why I couldn't listen to that last caller. It got me Whoa, very upset. that was heavy. Well, let yeah. me see your cat. Is your cat going to be at the party? Yeah, hiding under look the at bed. The crazy big one on the invitation. Oh, yeah. and look at that picture. I mean, gee, I want to fuck that character. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean you're Lisa. hot too. But in yeah. the, Wait, I mean, <laughs> the character's sixteen, by the way. Yeah, yeah. The caricature <laughs> is sixteen. She's in a little Santa outfit with like, like, like. It's I, hot. I mean, it's hot. Yeah. So that's, that's how you I'll see yourself. That's what I'll be wearing yourself. at my cookie party. Look at this one, Rob. Mm. I saw it. I saw it's the so invitation. It's so cute. It's not pompous. It's cute. Well, why don't you dress like your caricature? <laughs> <laughs> I will, Saturday night. And by the way, I, you know, I, I, again, I only comment on this. That, and, the, and the rack on the caricature, yeah, you got the, big, the big boobies. Yeah. So like, what? You, you don't dress like that. Well, a caricature is an exaggeration. <laughs> yes. It sure is. Oh, you're, you're, you're Pam Anderson in the caricature. I know. A girl can dream, can't she? Well, okay. <laughs> I mentioned to you yesterday, I said it's odd that you have that. And no, you didn't say odd. I Well... Lisa, it's odd. I said it's interesting that well, you. Well, it's not going away. <laughs> no, I don't want. No, it I know to go you away. like it. Why don't you Cute. start a comic book? Lisa G comic book. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like a superhero, like you know. Yeah, like, right? Lisa, you get so. That's all right. Fun. <laughs> I did come up with an idea for Howard TV. Go ahead. Okay. The Lisa G cartoon series. A cooking show with me, and every week a different whack packer, like me and Beetlejuice, me and Jeff the Drunk. And what are you going to cook? Whatever. Like, be do you think funny. the audience cares about? What well, are you going to wear? Funny. Are you going to dress like the caricature? <laughs> cook me some eggs, bitch. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think, Robin? I wouldn't. Would I want to see that? Lisa I mean, we should shoot a pilot. Oh yeah. All right. <laughs> I mean, you... I'll give any show a shot. Once. Yeah, we should shoot a pilot. <laughs> you know, well, who would you want first? Me and Beetlejuice in my kitchen. But I don't know. What do you think? Does Beetlejuice shit his pants? Beetlejuice or? cooks. Do you know Beetlejuice no. cooks his own breakfast? I know that for a fact. Yeah, it'd be cool if you did it but, and like you let Beetle cook. Yeah, for yeah. real. 
Yeah, yeah maybe then. Uh, that's, that's why that's Beetlejuice ate a doorknob for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll give it a shot if Doug Goodstein's up for it. He's right. got to approve it. I mean, he's in charge of Howard TV. Or we, you know, what's another good idea Howard TV could do is just take like twenty thousand dollars and burn it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Come to think of it, why do we need Lisa on that show? Why don't we just have Beetle just cook? <laughs> the Beetle just cooking show, and he has different guests. Doug, are you interested in the Lisa G Beetle just cooking I'm inter- show? I'm interested in Artie's uh, idea. <laughs> Burning twenty grand? Absolutely, we'll burn it and we'll just show it on TV. It's awesome. <laughs> so what you're saying is you don't believe anybody wants to see Lisa G cook with Beetle juice. Uh, probably not. Probably not. All right. No. <laughs> you know, that's the first, you know, uh, Doug's a little bit of Ed Wood. That's the first idea I've seen him reject. I know. <laughs> really? Yeah. He usually right. can make any, something really? out of anything. Yeah. I think it's a little hokey. Okay. Um, what would you like to see Lisa do? I'd like to see Lisa's uh, cookie party. But we've oh. been refused. Yeah, no. we've been oh, he's pissed she refused about us. that. Yes. Uh. Why don't you let her? In? Why don't you let them into your cookie party? You're the one. You're a news person. You're always trying to get into different things. Yeah, oh. but oh, not on Howard TV. It's wow. too much. It's going to be too crowded. It's too much. Oh, you high pitch mic now? No, and I don't want to get kicked out of my building. <laughs> <laughs> really, I, it's just too much. It's too much. What's too much? Too much cookies? Too much. How about for five minutes? We'll just shoot some bureau. No, I just want a little bit of privacy. Okay. What? What? What's that look? It's <laughs> interesting. You're the it one is. who's always yelling. You should have access to everything, and now all of a sudden you're closing yeah, off. It's covering access. other things of people right. who people have agreed to, like you know, a party that you've agreed to let well, or a party in. that's They're talked about on the air for months. Yeah, that and people so? from the show are going to. She's mad at me. She won't even look at me. Why? Wow. No, I don't I'm not know. Mad I think because I rejected no. her show. <laughs> She's probably no. thinking of her next fat joke. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lisa G. had an opportunity to have the cookie party show, and she won't do it. How do you plan on expanding the cookie party brand? (laughs) (laughs) Caricature it. All right, very good, Lisa. Would you like some headlines? Yes, please. Uh, Thank you. Oh, you should have left out lines. All right, so oh. Ivy Sin- <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, he's, he's on lo- a roll today. <laughs> he's in love with you, <laughs> Lisa G. Please, you know, like when they right the the, the, the a fat ugly You're kid teases the up. pretty girl. Oh, yeah. that's it. All right, you so two I- should get married. <laughs> <laughs> you have all the arguments down. I'm all carved <laughs> up. Yeah, this is how it starts with me and women, and eventually, you know. It returns I'm, there. I'm you know, we're, throwing we're, her out the car on the George Washington Bridge. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting no, to make, you know. The other way around, trust me. Oh, you know, I'm horrible. starting to make my wedding plans. You know, we're trying to figure out what to do. Uh-huh. I told you yesterday, and like, man, I, I just hope, you know, because, you know, really, it's not a cliche. I mean, just so many marriages end up shitty. <laughs> and I'm just like, you know, everything's so good. I'm so happy. You are. I just hope it Dude, doesn't ruin everything. You can't psych yourself out like that, yeah. man. You're overthinking. You gotta it. look at it in a positive way. All right, how do you and do that? And say, this is gonna you, work. It's gonna work, okay. It's working fine. It's, working it's always fine. gonna be this way. It's always gonna be this way. Some of us, <laughs> let me try to get, It's working fine. It's always gonna be this way. It's working fine. It's always gonna be this way. All right, Some of us dream of that kind of dilemma that you're having right now. We can't, we can't even have that. I know you can't get married yeah <laughs> gee poo-hoo. so we don't have the opportunity to go through that anguish that you're I going understood. through now believe yeah, me you know well, i'm on your side i know you are all right we want equality are you having a destination mm. wedding that's what it sounded like what yesterday. does that mean destination I mean, wedding? where you're people going go somewhere, somewhere. Mm, well i mean i mean you know like out of the country no, yeah. every place. Place. no i would place. never do that to anyone that's a pain i it. hate that uh join us in uh you know Cabo. Cabo. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean Cabo? What, what, what does this entail? I mean, not only am I giving you a gift, now i got to fly my ass out to Cabo and, <laughs> and, room and, and spend and my vacation with you? Yeah, if ultra-rich, like, you know, billionaires... Yeah, hops on a private Tom plane. Cruise. And has the money to... Everyone else Send can Send everybody go. else, right. yeah. Yeah, no, 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 no destination. The destination will be somewhere in Manhattan. Oh. Is it is a Manhattan wedding now. Well... Maybe. <laughs> is it summer or next fall? See, you keep asking me like I'm hiding something. We don't know. We Sometimes we say it's in the summer. And sometimes hey, we say the fall. Hard yeah. quid pro quo. Offer some, or offer a tidbit of possibly when and allow access to the cookie party. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. An invite to your wedding and then I'll let no, Howard no, TV. No, that's not the deal on the table. You want an invite to the wedding and with the invite, you will allow Howard TV access. 
to your A little bit party. of access. How much access? Well, I'll I let you be at the wedding for five minutes. I can't imagine. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine someone want to go to a wedding that bad. That's fascinating. We it's how much wedding. As many, uh, it's, but it's I'm not even going to have like a celebrity wedding. Like I'm not going to have celebrities. That's and stuff. all right. It's I'm still just going to have some friends. You're Howard Stern. It's a news event. I mean, I'm not even having Fred at the wedding. No. Oh my! <laughs> Remember, Fred didn't have me to his wedding. I know. Thank I God, I love him. Anyway. I appreciated that so much. I figured he'd appreciate go. if I didn't have him. Wait a minute, he had other people no. here. At people, the he no. got married on a beach, and people walking by were at right. his wedding. Well, he got a eloped. <laughs> he asked a plumber to be his witness. <laughs> <laughs> really? That, well, that's one of those bullshit lines that it? Gary handed you when you bought a hook, line, and sinker. You did, didn't you? Who was oh, your best oh, man? I will tell you what happened, Howard. No, who no, was no, your best Gary, man? Shut the fuck up for one second. Mm -mm. Well, you want you? Want, I'm going to tell Howard what happened. Yeah, you're going to tell him what happened. You're going to tell him that you lied. I didn't lie. You did lie. I did, I, come on, Gary, you lied. <laughs> Let's find out. Just wanted, you just wanted you to, been married? Seriously, you you told a lie. This show is so I dysfunctional. <laughs> They've been having this argument since Fred got married. Gary's Gary, so on fire, he came I, in and knocked would, Lisa G over. Would I not know who I invited to my wedding? Wait, but I didn't lie. I told you how... You lied. Fred, let me finish Gary, a fucking sentence. Lied. No, I won't. Let me finish. Because you've been telling his fucking lie no, for like 20 years. It's not a lie. I didn't tell... Here's what happened. I hired a plumber... He came to my house. He said he was walking along the beach and he stumbled upon Fred's wedding. Mm. That's what I told Howard. However, Howard has twisted it and misconstrued okay, over the years. You didn't lie. It's Howard, He's not me. Lying. I apologize. I hired a plumber. You're the guy goes, funniest thing. I was at Fred's wedding last week. I go, what do you mean? He goes, I was walking along the beach. I saw people get married, so I walked over and I was at Fred's wedding. But <laughs> buddy, and that, the plumber and that, wasn't and the best man. Who was the best man? I don't that, know. And not only that, that's not even true. He was not. He did, was not he, walking up. Nobody walked up. He swears that he walked right no, on. He didn't. He's lying. How could he not? Well, it's a Gary public beach. It's a public beach, but nobody walked up. There, there's you five, know, if people there's walk five by, people you were standing married. there. Fred, nobody walked up to this Stop group it. of people. Fred, people walk by on the beach, and so you got married. They did not walk up. But okay. he walked by, so oh, he was at your. Stop. He says he's at your stop. wedding. <laughs> so maybe he stop. embellishes when he says Dude. he's at the wedding. But he said he walked by. Yeah. He, he this an embellishment. Okay, Fred. He clearly walked along the, the beach and knew he was, that you, Fred, was getting <laughs> married, right? <laughs> I mean, he that's saw what, you. That's get what he's saying. You just want to keep playing this song. Go What's ahead. It? But Fred, I never said but the Fred, was your best man. I'm setting anyway. I know. Well, I know. Why are you freaking out about this? <laughs> not, not you know what it is because it turned out that this plumber thing was just so stupid. But so who was your best man? My best man was my dad. What? Yeah. Your dad was there. Yes. And where was your mom? My mom was there too. If my and who else was there? Was there. Was there. It was your mom and dad and who else? My mom, my dad, my uh, mother-in-law, my sister-in-law, and her grandmother. Well, that story sucks. That's it. I can't believe Fred's been harboring this resentment plumber? for all these years. Resentment? No, because you're, you're spreading lies. No, he's clearly angry with me, but Fred, <laughs> you were there when I told Howard what happened. is irritated. But you were there when I told Howard what happened. How could it's you be mad? It's irritating. I, to I told Howard exactly what <laughs> I just Gary, told it's you. It's irritating. But, so be irritated with Howard. <laughs> I'm irritated with you because you bring this shit up. It's, yeah, like, it's fine. Gary, you Oh, Fred, like, you would never write a fucking email if somebody sent that a note that I went by Gary's wedding on the beach. You're the fucking king of sending wacky emails. That didn't happen, <laughs> Jesus Gary. Christ. Gary, there's a little difference between an email and what actually oh, yeah, happened. Right, because you're too afraid to tell Howard but just Fred, face your fucking email. But Fred, if you're a plumber nuts. walks... You're nuts. You know that? You're fucking nuts. Uh, seriously. You, you're, you're, you do the same shit that I do in writing instead of in person, and you're somehow you better than me. What are you talking about? Fred, you you're in charge of looking at the emails, and oh, so anybody now, now that sends you a gossipy note, that, you forward, which is this, fine. This That's does, what you do. This doesn't even come close, Gary. How does it not come close? This doesn't even come. So, Fred, close. let me ask you a question: If the plumber, say it's me that got married, right now, the plumber sends an email saying the same exact thing, you're not going to forward that to Howard. Yes or no? I don't know. You could, of course, you fucking forward. I don't know. You better, or else you're not in charge of email. <laughs> it's harmless. It's not. It's not a harmful email. I wouldn't. What be should mad Gary have done with this information? Maybe that's more constructive. What should he have done no, when he heard? All, but he portrayed it like this guy was like part of the I wedding I didn't. Party. I told you exactly what I told Howard, and you were yeah, there when well, I told you, him. You bought, you bought that hook, line, and sinker. You bought what? That the, the guy, guy said up. he was walking along the beach, and he saw Fred and Alice <laughs> getting married. That's true. Well, that didn't come out on the air that way. But but I am telling you, that's what I told Howard. No, it's not weird. He that's saw it, and you, see, and you think he didn't see it, but he says he saw it. No, no, that's not what that's not what you're I'm saying. I'm not saying he was in the wedding. You're saying he was invited to the wedding. He started this song. I'm saying he was the best man. I started what? Into, into, what did I start, Fred? What did start, I start? You Eventually, it's going to be thing. a plumber married to Allison. I told <laughs> Howard, I relayed a story exactly the way it was told to me. I didn't embellish. I never said the guy was your best man. I never said he attended the wedding. Howard has embellished. Listen, I got a million stories. You know, Howard now has me... 
doing a million things there that have been about Sal has the Gary mask on and a big sign that says liar. <laughs> <laughs> that just harbors resentment, but you never no, know Gary, what it's no, about. No, that's no, there's no resentment. I'm just tell, I'm telling you how I feel. There's no. no resentment. I'm telling you when something happens, I'll tell you to your face. I'll tell it right then. But I don't walk around, you know, sitting on like an egg like you do. <laughs> what are you talking about? All right, all right, all right. Enough of this. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Artie? Gary started. So it's funny when <laughs> what, you. What, 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 everyone in the room is laughing. Gary, Gary. started. Gary started that whole Freddy's from Mars. Room, exactly. Right? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, that that was that was Jackie Martin. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, listen, thank you. This is like Shakespeare, it full is. of sound and fury, signifying nothing. nothing. <laughs> What's Gary's problem? Why do you think he? Why is he lying about this? I don't know. You'd have to ask Gary. <laughs> so this something that really bothers you, right? That, Does it bother me? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Who knows? We'll never know the truth, will we? No, but, I guess uh, not. Just stay tuned to Howard TV, and uh, maybe the truth will come out. Gary, why does Fred think you're lying? I have no idea. I, do, I He was there when I told Howard exactly what the plumber told me. I never embellished it anymore. Howard took it and ran with it. Over the years, it's it's grown and grown. Like a million stories about me that Fred has been part of Gary. telling the joke and embellishing. So I don't know what he's Gary, upset Gary, about. Gary, Gary. Yes, John Pop. It's the guy who gets upset loses. Don't you know this? It's so fun to hear the radio show and actually get to talk. Well, then to appa him. apparently Fred and I both just lost. No, he was calm and you were screaming. I don't know. About yeah. That. Well, replay. All right. All right. All right. Oh, oh, see. Uh, yeah. He's going into salt. That fucking John Popper. Yeah. See, he's going into salt. Well, let me just play a couple of these things here in no particular order. Here, I love listening to Richard's father. I could listen to it all day down on the phone. <laughs> Don't you wish he was your father? And, yeah, well, <laughs> at first I heard this message, and I thought he was kidding. And I said to Richard, is your dad kidding on this? He goes, no, 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 this is my favorite restaurant. Here, listen. All right. Uh, so this is uh, for real. Uh, Rich, this is your dad. I got some news for you. You, you better sit down, because this is going to floor you. Taco Tico, they closed it up. So we don't, we don't have no Taco Tico. They didn't pay their taxes, so they come in and took everything they own. So no more Taco Ticos. That's gonna be hell, ain't it? We'll talk to you later. Bye. I said when your dad says you better sit down, he's joking, right? He goes, Oh no, he knows that's my favorite restaurant. Was Ta he hit hard by the closing of Taco Tico? Yeah, he said, I'm like freaked out. And, and Isaac, who went down to film that Thanksgiving special at Richard's uh, father's yeah. house, said it's the most horrible restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> he said he went to Taco Tico and it was just Taco disgusting. Tico. He hated it. Uh, Taco Tico, what did they serve besides tacos? Sancho's. They had 99 cent Sancho's, which is a burrito but with vegetables too. Mm -hmm. Oh. It was, I, I mean, I can't even explain how awesome. I grew up on this restaurant. I, I guess ate when, there you, since when your I was father like gives you raccoon to eat all day, that uh, this is Taco rather, Tico sounds, Taco sounds Tico. like gourmet food. exotic. Food. Yeah. But I already had plans. I had plans December 26th to meet up with my friends and go to Taco Tico. Well, uh, I, guess I guess you're going to have to change those back plants. Up. Yeah. Well, uh, as long as it doesn't interfere with you getting tucked in by elves. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you on the wrap-up show. You know, they were talking about Richard wants to be tucked in by elves. He's he's paid money to go to a hotel over Christmas. And act like a kid. Yeah. yeah. Are you surprised that all of us are sort of... What's the right word, Gary? Freaked out? Uh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> by you wanting elves to come tuck you in at, at Christmas time during your trip? I'm a little surprised. I mean, you know, some I think people take themselves a little too seriously sometimes. You got to just let your inhibitions go and and think of what makes you happy and that's something that yeah, I love the holidays. I love Christmas and that's gonna, we're just totally going to immerse our, ourselves in Christmas okay. and that's one of the ways. You're not even clear if they're midgets or little children who play the elves. That's or... one of the reasons I wanted wanted to do this. I want to see if they're midgets. If they're midgets, then we'll do it. I, you I want don't... midgets to tuck you in on yeah, your vacation. Yeah, only if it's midgets. Because, right. uh, I mean, to me, an elf, a real elf is just an old midget. <laughs> like a real elf is hundreds of, you know, in the movie Elf, Artie, the, the elves are hundreds of years old. I've never seen the movie Elf, Richard. <laughs> but they're not elves, they're midgets. You know, I mean, I, I, yeah. I don't even know what's going on here. He wants. He, I heard this rap. He wants male midgets to talk him in it. Male. Yeah, it's male. Because he wants. No, he wants elves. Well, in the movies, they're usually always male. There's a few female. Like I was saying on the wrap-up show, the woman from Poltergeist. Like she would be a perfect elf. You know, <laughs> somebody like that. Right. Well, 
I don't somebody understand like it. Billy Barty. If Billy Barty showed up to tuck us in, that would be cool. Be like, and the midgets have to read him on. bedtime story. He, what's going on is he's taking a trip over Christmas. I, I know, he booked I, into the hotel, and part of the services for your young children is they'll have the elves come in and tuck your kids in and read them the story. Howard, I can't Which is get, creepy in and of it itself. Yeah, and Richard now signed up for this, and not even as a big, because it's not like we knew about it. Yeah. It's not for camera or anything. He just wants this. He, he really wants to lay in bed and have this uncomfortable situation where elves come in and then see two adults and they have to be tucked in and read to. <laughs> I mean, like, why would you want to torture well, yourself? With yeah, that? but don't you like to hear Christmas stories and things like that? No, like, what I'm are an adult. You? I'm an adult. Yeah, but I, I just love that kind of stuff. How I old love are the you? holiday. I'm uh, what am I? Thirty three. That's for kids. That's At this for kids. point, you should be reading this to your children. Right. You should. But a lot of things are for kids. Like kids play chess, but you enjoy chess. Like kids uh, love going to haunted houses, but I love doing that too. Like you sound creepy. The kids I'm have video you, games and adults play video games. No, Somebody no, should take though. his computer and look through it. Well, the reassuring <laughs> thing is after he gets tucked in and the elves leave, you're going out drinking, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's I, an adult I thing. I can't believe you found Even a George woman that, that does the shit with you. Even George finds it creepy, right, George? Not creepy, but a little Weird. peculiar. Yeah. Well, I mean, what it is is I love... Yeah, here it is, Elf Tuckins, from 7 p.m. to 9.30. <laughs> Let Santa's little elves come by and tuck your little elves into bed. Your little elves! Right. They don't want to be <clears throat> dealing with a big adult. <laughs> Santa's elves will read bedtime stories, play elf games, whatever your little one wants. You can be sure Little that one. they'll dream of sugar plums and will treasure their Christmas memory forever. Please, and won't be getting up to go get drinks. Please call guest services for more information and reservations. $15 per child includes a big cedar stocking with age-appropriate toys. <laughs> age-appropriate toys, so they'll have a dildo in your list. <laughs> the sweetest no, Christmas. Please. Elf could use that dildo on my ass. I just got bleached. <laughs> Elf Tuckin. Wow. I just love the holidays and I try to immerse myself in the holidays. See, chess is for uh, all ages. This says specifically for little, little kids. One. See, that I don't understand your like, analogy. It's like guys who get dressed up in diapers and shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's not a weird it was thing. I'm not and little baby hoods it's, and stuff. It's, it's, it's freaky. One of the weirdest things I've ever heard. Richard, this is your dad, Taco Tico clothes. Taco Tico <laughs> clothes. But good news, some else is coming over and tucking me and your mom in tonight. <laughs> yeah, what's is Taco this? Tico in Missouri or in Kansas? In that's Kansas, In Kansas, yeah. that's like Nobu. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, it was only the one. It's restaurant. It's, only it's one our of... finest restaurant. All we get is raccoon at home. <laughs> I think it's one of only four restaurants The gas gave it four stars. It has real paper tablecloths. Uh, David, you're on the air. Go <laughs> ahead. I think you're going to run into the fact that this place is not going to do this for you. They're going to go, mm. no, it's creepy. The sheriff might come and arrest right. you. Like, <laughs> right. What do you want to? One could hope. It's not creepy. Uh, we just want to. Uh, we're doing a lot of other <laughs> stuff, like we're doing a tour of holiday lights we're going to see santa we're doing oh. christmas brunch we're doing christmasy stuff this you're gonna is sit on just... santa's lap no no my Why parents not? are gonna be with me and my niece is gonna be with us so oh, she's going to see santa yeah ralph yeah. go ahead you're on the air i see now this is not a joke i seriously think that richard is retarded i think you should give him some sort of iq test or something to just to prove it because, i agree with ralph yeah because can i give you some reasons why i think he is sure I sort of put a list together, keeping a list on him. First of all, <laughs> he, he lives like an animal in that filth, <laughs> that disgusting, filthy apartment. Richard used to be completely embarrassed by that. And then he <laughs> lived in a storage unit, too. Right, I mean, years, a retarded yeah. person could be. He likes to be naked. He's constantly drunk. He doesn't shower or brush his teeth. He laughs when you insult him. He's probably laughing now. He's so stupid. <laughs> he is laughing. Yeah, you're right. Busted. You're right. He has, like, like Rain Man, he has the ability to hyper-focus on one thing. You don't like Richard, do you? No, I love Richard, but he just drives me nuts. Cause he's, he's, no, you don't love why Richard. Why do you think he doesn't I, like a, him? No, no, I do. Because I, I, I talked to Ralph in private, and uh -huh. I, I, he's just so disgusted by Richard. that I, I, I am disgusted. 
I feel like you just don't even like the guy. He's, he's pasty white and blotchy. <laughs> well, that I can't help. But that's retards are like that. No, nah, but retards like being naked. Only retarded people can stay in. You can stay in your own shit. Like yeah. you shit your pants and you don't care. Hey, you should be one talking about staying in your own shit. You shit the bed. I've never done that. Because <laughs> I was coked up. Are you? Drunk. You're not retarded, are you? Uh, and I don't think so. But did I'm, you go to school on a short yellow bus? No, no, All I right. did fine. I made it through high school. I know that Europe is a continent, <laughs> not a country. I'm, yeah, I'm just leading. What it boils down to, life is so short. I could be gone tomorrow. I want to have as much fun as I can while I'm here. And if that includes doing shit that people think is dumb, then so be it. I'm doing it for my enjoyment. I'm not getting tucked in by an elf because <laughs> I want to impress other people. It's because me Don't and my... Worry, you're not There's other anyone. ways to impress Good people. for you. Well, Good me for you, and my, my girlfriend and I saw that in this brochure, and we said that would be hilarious. And Are it would you be sure fun. she said anything? It we, was you saying all this stuff? She's the one that saw it and, and brought it to my attention. I was like, yeah, that would be a lot of Dave, fun. David, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, Howard. How's it going, buddy? All right. Yesterday on the wrap-up show, I wanted to speak about gayness. Uh, Sal wants to put his pouch in Richard's ass. Yeah, oh, yeah, I heard that. I'm going to play that Wait right now. Minute. I'm going to play that right now. now. This was really took me by surprise. You know, when what? Sal refers to his pouch, he means his foreskin, okay? so someone's That's literally putting his <laughs> dick. Yeah, yeah, well, listen to it's this. This was, this was and shocking. The... And I talked to Richard about this. Richard goes, I, I don't think I'd do this, but if it's funny, I would do it. But, well, li it'll be funny, Richard. Listen to this. <laughs> listen to this. Okay, I'll play the whole clip. So, no, would you stick your pouch in Richard's ass just for the laugh? <laughs> That's such a tough question. <laughs> no, it's Why? not. Why? Because the dilemma is laugh, but at the same time, it's my pouch going into his ass. Let me, let me explain something. Your pouch in Richard's ass is gay sex. There's no other way to describe it. Guys, anybody? John? Is it not gay sex? Yeah. All right, so if they throw shit on the Virgin Mary, it's considered art, right? That's the argument? That's a great analogy. Okay, to me, I consider it offensive. But if I put my dick in Richard's ass for a laugh, I consider it art, comedy. I'm you not, guys consider it gay. I'm not offended. It's just gay. It's not I'm not saying I'm offended. It's not gay if you're not gay. I wouldn't do it. I don't think I would do it, but it's not gay if you're not gay. How is you sticking that in his ass? not a gay act. You have to describe it, because I really don't understand. The, first of all, it's the pouch. It's the foreskin. Okay. That would go in. There's the tip. It's like a, pen, like, you know, it's like a pencil eraser or something. Okay. <laughs> that would go in. Not the head, and not contact, and not movement. Not the uh, sliding in and out of the, of the uh, shaft in the rectum. What would you do if you did that, right? And then you accidentally came. <laughs> How great would that be? You mean I have to be gay? That would be gay, right? That, that would be, be gay. It would be gay because it'd be funny. <laughs> <laughs> that would be art. Yeah. So you would allow that, right? I mean, no. you would think about it. No. no. You said this but morning. Wait a minute. You if well, it was funny. Here's, here's what I said this morning. I said no, but we got three years left on the contract. Now tell what the <laughs> hell is going to happen. <laughs> Before we leave here, so and how does Sal plan to get his foreskin into you without putting the, the arousing himself and putting the dick in there? <laughs> I mean, you've got. I mean, you can't really do one without. Yeah, explain damn, all of this. That's yeah. a damn good question. All right, well, thank you. Ralph's retarded there, though. I'm starting to think about it because even like you know, he constantly falls for thinking Sal's not going to throw something in his face, and then he yeah, does. And yeah. Then, when Sal throws something in his face, I mean, you fall for it every time. It's like, you know, uh, the football and Charlie Brown. Well, I would. And then you laugh about it. Like, there's jizz and shit and piss on your face. You're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Richard, dude, what's the deal with the elves? Why, why doesn't anyone understand? Yeah, I don't know. I, it's a Christmas thing. I guess you really have to be in Chris, into Christmas, but... You know, I have some weird hobbies, I guess, visiting haunted houses. I love the hol I love doing holiday stuff. And, you know, I mean, I'm catching shit from from three people, one of which is into shoving coffee in her ass, one of which is into playing chess, the lamest most boring game ever, and one who's into doing massive amounts of cocaine. So, uh, you know, call me weird, I guess, but it seems a little, little less weird than all those other three things that everybody's who's yelling at me is into but uh i don't know i just it's something that's funny it's funny or maybe you know it's just a, a funny thought to be tucked in by a an, an grown midget so now are there negative comments like discouraging you from doing this not at all encourage it encourages me that 
I'm not into shoving coffee in my ass playing chess or doing coke, so I'm into my own 